today we are discussing the very very important topic uh, that is types of programming languages it is very 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 important question in your final exam so before going to the concept please subscribe my channel anu computer education so in future whatever the videos i am going to make immediately you will get a notification regarding my new videos so i am going to the concept so let now taking what programming languages programming language so first you need to understand what is the meaning of programming language so example here one human being is there and here one more human being is there okay we both want to interact with each other we need a language okay we need this we are using here this we are using here this we are using here either hindi or telugu or okay english sorry any etc so any one of the language we po we both are using so okay so these are these are called as languages human being languages so similarly if you want to interact with the computer so if the, any user want to interact with the computer so one here one is person and one is machine so in between these two person if you want to make a communication so here also we need a language so what type of language is required so not this language we need one programming language so what is required now programming language so generally the programming languages are three types of programming languages are there okay the one is okay machine level language machine level language so it is also called as it is also called as uh, low level language low level language okay so it is also called as binary language so please don't be get confusion so binary language so we have total three names are there for this language name okay the next one is uh, second one the second one is assembly level language assembly level language level language the third one is high level language high level language so now i am going to first what is the meaning of machine level language so why it is required so that i am going to explain the ne this uh, next uh, okay so directly i am going to the this concept so why we are using low level language low level language low level language so listen so low level language is also called as binary level language and before only i said so it means here if the human being want to interact with a computer so you know already before also said computer understanding language is binary language so you know what is the meaning of computer understanding language binary language it means a computer can understand only the information in the form of zeros and ones so this language is called as binary language so but the user is giving other type of information now okay so whatever the information which is given by the user the computer will not understand so what we have to do in the low level language the always the user has to give whatever the information he is giving whatever the information he want to send to this computer that information should be in the form of binary format only binary format binary format it means the user has to give any information in the form of zeros and ones only then only the computer can understand so during in, in the first generation computer the first generation computers will understand uh, comes under the concept of low level language computers it means whatever the instructions the user is giving it should be in the form of zeros and ones only so it means there is no translator you know what is the meaning of translator translator so it means what no one is uh, no software is special software is there for convert the binary instruction uh, human instructions into binary instruction so that is a drawback of low level language it means the user have only convert each and everything into binary and he need to Uh, okay feed to computer now it means he has to give the instruction to the computer then only the computer has to do some work so this is a uh, drawback of this computer now so next uh, what are the advantages if i am using the low level language what are the advantages we are going to get okay advantages so advantages first advantage i am going to explain here so these computers so what is required here no translators are required no translator no translator 
no translators are needed as i know because everything is done by the user itself na what are the instructions which is given by the user that is e, who is converting here the user itself is converting and is giving to the computer now so that is called as no need of any translator so next uh, the advantage is what okay uh, whatever the programs we are running so it will run very fast very fast because directly whatever the information i'm giving it is in the form of binary so already computer understanding language is also binary immediately it understand and immediately it will process and again whatever the output which will be generated again that output will be given to the user so you know already so it is also having some drawbacks because user who is giving a user is giving what type of information binary information okay to whom computer so what computer is doing after that it is doing process okay after process what it will generate output now you tell me output is also in the form of which format output is will be in the form of binary only so again what you, what user has to do now he need to convert this binary binary data binary data into user understanding format user understanding format understanding format so it means what it is easy it easy for the user to convert each and every binary number into user understanding format it's very difficult so this is major drawback which is exist with the uh, machine level language so okay and if if i'm suppose uh, i'm giving some message example assume if i'm giving hello suppose hello so if i'm giving hello this message to computer the computer will not understand because computer understand language is binary so what user has to do he has to convert this hello message into binary like group of zeros and one something suppose assume hello means this this may okay in our language hello means h e l l o but in computer language hello means 10101011 so who, who who has to convert this information user so once he is converting this information he need to pass this information to the computer so immediately computer will understand and it will give some answer that answer is also in the form of binary only so what user has to do now after what are the output which is received by the uh, user he has to convert that information into the user understanding format then only user can understand so it is very very difficult for the normal user to convert each and everything so so that is the reason today no one is using what first generation computers now okay next uh, next if i'm doing any mistake so by suppose when i'm in giving any instruction to the computer if i'm doing instead of 1 one, 1 one, if i'm giving one zero so where i did mistake also it is very difficult for me to identify the error so that kind of problem so it means uh, identifying the errors is also very difficult in low level language so this is about the low level language so when it is comes to the next one so please uh, concentrate this is very very important question you'll get this question in your final exam for 8 marks so the next concept i'm going to explain okay assembly level language assembly level language okay or assembly language also can say sir what is the meaning of assembly level language so so in binary language in the before uh, before what is what we need to do everything has to be converted by the user so zeros and ones has to be converted with so instead of converting anything so what will be there in the binary here in assembly level language mnemonics will be there okay mnemonics sir what is the meaning of mnemonics so my question is remembering 10111 like all numbers are easier or remembering the words are easier so mnemonics are nothing but the english words mnemonics mnemonics are nothing but english words okay so for the group of zeros and ones they given the name suppose example 110110 so for this they given the name as add so something i'm writing 11011 something uh, is there now they given the name as subtraction so these add and subtract okay and divide so so many names are given these na na names are called as these names are called as mnemonics in assembly level language now you tell me remembering the now these binary numbers are easier or remembering the mnemonics are easier so my question aapke mobile mein so you are all are using mobile phones now in your mobile phone contact numbers are there along with the name contact person name is also there name and numbers now you tell me if i ask suddenly can you say the all mobile numbers which are present in your mobile uh, mobile phone yes you will say only few numbers but if i say instead of that can you say the, uh, uh, the contact details like names instead of numbers you will say more names now instead of numbers you will say names more names you will say because uh, remembering the names are easy but then numbers so in this what will be there in assembly level language mnemonics will be there 
So these mnemonics are nothing but English words. So example for the group of zeros and ones, they are given the names are called as add, subtract, division, and multiply. So so many different names are there. So so it will be when we compared with the uh, low, low level language, assembly level language is far better than okay far better. So it means remembering is becomes easy. Okay. So now my question is suppose if the user want to interact with a computer now. So before in the first uh, uh, low level language a user is giving any information in the form of what binary but now he will not give in the form of binary he will give you in the what he will give now mnemonics he will give what he will give here mnemonics he will give mnemonics are nothing but english words like this suppose you want to give add a comma subtract some whatever the instructions are you now etc he will give so what will happen now you know already computer understanding language is binary only so whatever the instruction which i given whatever the instruction which i given computer will not understand so what we need to use we need to use a concept called as translator this is very very important in the next coming video i'll be explaining what is the meaning of translator and in detail we are going to discuss about the translator what is translator converting what translator is doing you know converting in mnemonics or english words english words okay english english words into machine understanding language machine understanding language it is nothing but binary language clear na so converting the mnemonics whatever the words we, the user is entered the computer is not understanding so who will receive that information translator what is the meaning of translator translate is a special program it is a special program what is the responsibility of this program whatever the information which is given by the user this program will collect that information and immediately this program will convert this into binary so once the, it is in converted into the binary that will be received by the computer now then after that computer will do some process so this is about the what translator so what type of translator we have to use so we have to use assembler we have to use okay assembler so what is the meaning of assembler what is assembler assembler is a translator if anyone is asking what is assembler means you need to say assembler is a translator it will convert okay assembly level language okay assembly language instructions okay instructions into machine understanding language into machine understanding language machine understanding language understanding language so this is very very important point you have to remember so what is assembler now assembler is a translator what is this assembler is doing it will take whatever the user is given instruction uh, that assembly level language instructions so after taking immediately it will convert into machine understanding language so that is the beauty of assembler so this is about the assembly language so now you tell me now what are the benefits of assembly language so it is easy for to user to remember each and everything so like he, okay next uh, compulsory what is required so identifying the errors also becomes a little bit easy when we compare with the low level language mm -hmm. and next what it is what compulsory translator is required so it means assembler is required without an assembler we are unable to convert that information into machine understanding language. so this is about the assembly level language so next i'm going to the next i'm going to the i'll take just one more uh, i'll insert one more slide no so now last one i'm going to explain last one i'm going to explain that is uh, what high level language so this is important one high level high level la language sir what is the meaning of high level language so i'm saying in the machine level language so find first level language you need to remember all zeros and ones one zero for everything for every alphabet or every digit you need to remember the zeros and ones so in the next to what you did assembly level language so in assembly level language what is that english words you learn only english words we need to remember english words so here no need of remembering anything no need of remembering zeros and ones no need of remembering any words so whatever the information you want to give suppose the user want to give whatever the information the user want to give so directly user can pass that information internally in this computer you will be having the concept called as translator okay now what is the translator okay whatever the information which is given by the user immediately that who will receive translator it will convert that information into machine understanding language so into binary language so that is the beauty of no so th that is the reason the high level languages are very famous so so example so if anyone asking what are the different types of languages which are comes under high level language means you need to say c c plus plus java okay 
etc these are all languages which are comes under what high level language it means no need of writing anything so compulsory you know when you are using these languages compulsory we need to download what compilers you know what is the meaning of compiler what it is doing compiler converting the machine uh, what what user instructions into machine understanding language so that is the beauty of these compilers so compilers or interpreters these are the translators we have to use in high level language so this is about the high level language so okay no now whenever you are going for the high level language we can easily easy to learn and easy to write okay and easy to find the errors and uh, it is a machine independent so it means what in every every machine okay it will be run so next uh, what drawbacks are compulsory without a translator you are unable to perform any anything so example so what it is doing what is translator is doing what uh, this compiler is doing converting the uh, user input user understanding information into machine understanding format okay and machine understanding format into user understanding format both the thing translation has to be done by the compiler so if you will be getting this complete concept uh, related to the compiler concept in the next video i am going to upload uh, that is uh, related to what is translator or different types of translator there you will get a complete cl clarity about the what compiler is doing and what interpreter is doing and what assembler is doing so the next coming video will be that video please subscribe my channel learn computer education so in future whatever the videos i am going to make immediately you will get a notification so whatever the so after it, now i am giving the notes also for this now just i am i'm giving the notes so after that what you do just uh, go to my uh, description link i'll be providing my description link so in the description link uh, i'll be providing my this notes related what is the types of programming it is a very easy notes just once you read the notes and you can come to know how to write the answer so it is a simple notes just i'm giving to you uh, later you can download from my description so just the same thing whatever i explained that everything is give he available here just can we go through with this concept so advantages and everything i give just can make use of this notes it is very easy notes i'm saying once you read this notes easily you can write the answer okay just i'm moving